Hey guys, welcome to Fair and Wine. We're back with our let's play of Metal Gear Solid. This is part two. Uh, when we last left off, we fought Vulcan Raven. Uh, you know, DARPA Chief and President Baker died. You know that. You know this game. Who doesn't know this game? Anyway, we're heading to the nuclear store. Oh no, I don't need that. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. Um... I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, we're going to nuclear storage because we got to meet up with the Otacon. There's a ration. We can hold one more ration. Alright. Anywho. <clears throat> Is there anything up there? No boxes spinning. All right. Uh. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? what? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah. There's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes. They're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said. Totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake. Never use your weapon on that floor. Okay, well. Oh, shit. <gasps> Please don't see me. Oh, God. Is he going to see me? It technically makes sense that he wouldn't, because I was in the shadows. Alright. Hmm. Let's see what's up this way. Ooh, famous bullets. Excuse me. Nothing there. Guess we'll go around this truck. Oh. Right. Oh, let's see what's in the back of the truck. It's not gonna be a soak on, but, but. Oh, is there nothing really? Nothing but a good hiding spot, huh? That's a chaff grenade. Nice. Oh, you won! I think that's where it's supposed to go, right? Oh, right, I know what we're supposed to be doing. Level five. Yeah. There we go. Oh, shit, is that an enemy? Okay. Yeah, we need to find a remote control launcher, a rocket launcher, because we're going to need to get through another area. Oh, oh. Nikita launcher, there we go. Oh, shit. Oh, sure. Level four, damn it. I like how you just can't see me run across the other side of the room. <laughs> oh no! Never mind, he can. Oh, shit! <laughs> Idiot. Anyway, we need a Nikita launcher. We got it. Let's go. 
cling. Oh no shit. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Ah, see? See what I mean? Alright, hold on. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. oh, we do need to take out these things first. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Yeah. I can't tell if that was... If I did that right. Oh, oh, oh. God damn it. Oh, we gotta get oxygen. Hold on. And... Okay. What the hell am I? <laughs> oh my god, can I fire? No, I can't. I was like, can I fire in first person? But no, I cannot. This is not MGS2, baby. I didn't take them both out, I only took one out. And it's okay I'm burning through these missiles too, because it's just whatever. There's this one left. Alright, let's get some oxygen. Card open. Alright. There is still that one right there, but we should be okay. I guess technically I could have... No, if I threw a chaff grenade, this thing wouldn't fucking work, so... Excuse me... I'll take it. Level four. Oh. Gas mask. Now it doesn't completely protect you from gas, but the gas now 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 it just slows down to how much the gas hurts you that's it can do this a little bit longer. Okay, I did that. Level 
level four again. Boom, boom. This way. Cool. Cooly, cooly, cool. Okay. Um, hello. some type of blade well that's not really a mystery since we've seen a fucking cybernetic ninja with him I played this for the first time when I was younger. I was like, oh, this is like a horror game all of a sudden. Otacon. Oh, Otacon. Come on, bro. Was there steam? Is it really that cold in this room or what? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. Hmm. It makes no difference. No! Ah, fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. What's up? Oh. Aww. That's... Shut up. Now you can throw chaff grenades down and it'll all fuck him up and then you just go over and beat his ass. But we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> you motherfucker. Hey. 
you. Alright, you know what? We're about to break this rule. Well, I needed that ration. <laughs> Fuck it. It's called strap pro strap, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you asshole. You found my one weakness. You motherfucker. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't worry. Where are you? I hear you. Except you weren't so susceptible to chap grenades when you were alive. Ouch. Alright, never mind. We have to fight him the old... Zanzibar. What? Not again. What's happening? Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. 
ridiculous. Hmm. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Anywho, let's talk to Atakana. The guy who's still alive. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. He just punches it, starts peeing out the bottom. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. No, but it really hurts. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. No! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose Please of this not. exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. Hmm. All right. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah. 
Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab. God damn, man, that explosion. That's yes, but fucking gnarly. If they could use virtual data on a battlefield, they would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. S -s Damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Oh, shit. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. Wow. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Stop being a bitch. Where on the base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Oh, Mail's shit. got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. Okay. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl! What happened? Oh shit. Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Gotta go see Meryl. Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? We've all looked at her butt. Oh, yeah, and that's how you can tell because there's gonna be soldiers and you gotta look at the way she she's walks. Disguised as the enemy. You'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. 
Where's that? Don't be so dense. The bathroom. Duh. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. Right on. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? <clears throat> nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. <laughs> Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japan animation. Oh, no. No, it's good. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. Are you They're talking about Gundams? Still the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. Yeah, well, fuck you, Snake. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. Jeez. I know everything about this whole base. <laughs> Whatever. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Bet. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. One four one point one two. Okay, I want. Oh. Hey, more health. All right, I wonder if oh, he's not on there yet. So. You still haven't found Merrill, Snake. The Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there, too? All right. It's fine. I just want to get your fucking codec number. All right. Let's go. And now we can check those. Hopefully there's no gas in there now. Probably is though. Ooh. Night vision goggles, nice. All right. All right. Now we can go back to that other area. All right, where all these oh, four. Okay. Level one. Hey. Yeah, there she is. I'm coming for you, baby. Hey, well on. 
Cardboard box B. She got undressed so quickly and whatever. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. Your Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were no, so arms feminine. on this broad. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. You're in your panties. What do you want me to do? Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back. And guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or imprisoned. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the... Was out here to do some That's work. right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, <laughs> you never think about what's next. Whatever. Now you can't so see snake. my butt. How That's not how pants work. Going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. That was pretty cold. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. Mm. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. <laughs> I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. 
There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, <laughs> I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I, I was I want the Desert old. Eagle, Meryl. <laughs> If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. Okay. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Let's go. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Is there any level five doors in here? I don't think so. Promise. So calm. No. She's wrapped. Oh. Ooh. Diazepam. Cool. To level six, really? Fuck you, game. All right. Anything in the men's room? Snake, what are you doing? Let's go to the commander's room. I gotta take a sh That was a level six door, that's weird. All right, how are we gonna do this? Hold on, I'm gonna have to Google. <laughs> Cause uh, well I'll, I'll explain when it gets to it I guess. Did I sign in as guest? My head, oh it hurts. What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. I won't be a liability. Oops. Never mind. Are you okay? Uh, uh, what happened? I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Mr. Foxhound, the commander is waiting. Come, Mr. Snake. Okay. Um. There's nothing fucking in here. Yeah, you're alright. What the? Oh. Do you like me? Yeah, I mean, a little oh, less and less snake. each time you ask, but. What's wrong? Oh, oh, hurry, hurry. Make love to me. Uh, okay. Snake, I want you. Who's that? Oh, you don't like girls? <laughs> snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. Just it's blow like her head off. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Alright, then. She <laughs> 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 bitch ass up. <laughs> Just like broke her. Her jaw, her nose. Useless woman. Oh, bro. Have to camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You well, I mean, I also took over that lady's mind, but sure, I guess that wasn't really a trick. Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner. 
largest form of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm Psychomantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Now, let me read your mind. No, perhaps I should say your past. You are a very methodical man. The type that always mm. kicks his tires before he leaves. You are a highly skilled warrior, well suited to this stealth mission. Okay. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious, or you are a coward. All right. Still don't oh. believe me. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. I think I've only played a couple Konami games on this place, this uh, hard drive. Mm. Your memory is completely ha. Not say it often. You are somewhat reckless. Yes. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. All right. There Put you it go. Down as fast as you can. It's That's done. good. Yeah. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. Yep, it's vibrating all over the place. What do you think now? Can you feel my power now? The demonstration is over. Okay. So the reason why I was, I was saying this is in the original, you would unplug your PlayStation controller from the uh, first, like, port one and put it in port two so you could no longer read your moves. Like, it was, it was really, it was fucking ingenious. I'm just wondering how they're going to do it now because it's all Bluetoothed and, you know. <laughs> Hideo. Hideo. <sighs> Yeah. All right, let's, uh... Oh my god, you son of a bitch. Ow! Son of a fuck. Okay. I thought it was the thing like you had to destroy these statues or something. case of a multiple serial murderer and he got too far into the killer's mind as a result he became just like the killer so he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts that's pretty crazy case, after that he became a sort of psychic spy working for the highest bidder traveled all around the world that's when he was recruited by foxhound he can read people's minds he knows every move that you're going to make what should i do i've got no chance of beating him there must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. That does not help me. Hold on. Is there a way to... Can I switch the controller over to something else? Let's see. 
que, 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 que. Nope. I don't know what to do. Uh, let's see if we can stun him. I mean, he would know everything I'm gonna do. Alright, there we go. Oh, he's setting off my own bombs. I was wondering, I was like, how did he just do that? Alright, I need more help. He read your mind with his psychic abilities. Somehow you've got to get around him. Using his psychic ability to read your controller's moves. That's how he's evading your attack. You've got to do something so he can't read your controller's moves. Think. There must be some way. I, I don't even know how it's supposed to do that on this kind of controller. Hold on, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Psychomantis. Yeah, of course, that's what you would do if an old school one. But, you can do this. There we go. Oh, shit. Uh, back. Oh, no. Okay. Confirm. Oh no, okay, cool, right. Alright, now he can't read me. Ha <laughs> ha! Damn it. that why
Yeah. Keep trying, bro. Damn, I can't shoot him and then dodge it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Boom! Pushed you halfway through the chair, bro. Hell yeah! Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, right? it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. <laughs> but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So, I used the other computer. I, I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I will read your future. Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. You have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. Yes. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. Then use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That's mm. selfish. An atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Hmm. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. Oof. 
I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> We are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. Hmm. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. Yeah, whatever, dude. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. She's like, shut up, dude. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? No, 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 don't listen to him. He's just, yes. he's talking shit. A large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. I'll open the door for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. Well, let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry, Meryl. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're going to doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. Damn. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. That's right. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? The name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. And you're a needy bitch. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, look at her health now, girl. Oh. Hold on. Alright, let's go!
Okay, we still got a little tiny bit of ways to go before we get to the halfway point. Could there be wolves in oh, there? We're close. Wolf dogs, half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. Well, for some reason, these dogs are gonna try to kill me. <laughs> I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. Hopefully there's not another mind-controlling villain up ahead or I will be trying to kill you once more. Where'd she go? Oh yeah, you can just use the uh, thermal. Right? Right? Alright, so calm. Depression. Alright. Yeah, I think this helps me find, like, her, uh... Her footsteps. Or something, I don't know. Because you can get lost down here easy. Alright, Is that where I came from? Hi, puppy dog. Oh, you know what? Let's use the night vision. Whoa. What's going on, dogs? Uh-oh. Hey, hey, man. Hey. Hey. Calm it down now. I won't tell you again. Out of here. <laughs> Did I make it? Oh, thank God. Sweet. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. I am. They didn't attack me or nothing. <laughs> Dumbass dog. <laughs> Let's go. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me. I mean, I have thermal goggles. I suppose. Good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were. And how are you not freezing your fucking that? tits off right now? Well, a little bit. Only a little? Yeah, be impressed by this. <laughs> She's just like. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. So Meryl is all but teamed up with us for about, what, five minutes? Meryl. What is it? She's like, oh. Meryl, get down! Uh, Meryl! Uh, 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 Shot her in both legs. And right through a foxhound tattoo. Snake, leave me and run. Meryl. I guess I am a rookie after all. Don't worry, Meryl. It's me they want. Even I know that. 
It's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. Damn. Shoot me, Snake. No. My gun. I can't reach it by myself. Don't move. I promised. I wouldn't slow you down. I... I... I, I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. Shut your hole. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Now get out of here. Oh. Meryl! Damn. Snake, it's a trap. The sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. <sighs> I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. <sighs> okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. Good, now shut the hell up. Anywho. Okay, now for a part of the game I'm not fond of. I have to go all the way back the first area to get a sniper rifle. That's right. You remember we, the first wait, okay. That first place we ever went to. Fucking dogs. Uh, the first place we ever went to, which was um, well, we saw fucking President Baker. It's that fucking area. You know how fucking long ago that was. You better back up, dog. Ugh. Leave me alone! Oh! Look, I know I punched you in the face not too long ago. Wait, oh, yeah, isn't there a faster way there? Die as a pan. Alright, here we go. This fucking stupid dog's just waiting for me. <laughs> it's so stupid. I hate this game! No, I'm just kidding. Ah! You know what, dude? Fuck! Oh my god! I should just fucking shoot you in the face, put you down for good. That's what I should fucking do. Fuck out of my way. This way? God damn it. I think so, yeah, I think we're good.
Dun, 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 dun. I guess in reality we're not that far. It's just, it's still a pain in the ass, but we're not that fucking far from where we need to go. So we gotta run across that field where the tank was. You know, first of all, I gotta get down these fucking stairs without getting spotted. Because otherwise they'll open fire and I'll have to, like, all right, cool. That's actually pretty simple. Boom, 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 boom. What the fuck? Jesus. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. Let's chap the shit out of this area now. That's so stupid. Oh, for fuck. Oh my god. Did they put up new ones or something? Oh yeah. I do not remember it being that tough. <laughs> All right, let's chap it now. Pull out the thermals. Assholes. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That is so many landmines. So, maybe I should just stick to the outside. I don't know. Gang, 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 gang. Oh, maybe that's it. Oh, God. Yeah, it looks like just stick to the outside and you'll make it. Or something. Oh, man. Oh, God. Are they, the lasers still up? I hope they turn those off at least. Are we just trying to fuck me every way we can? Sweet. Thank God for that. Bend, 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 bend. Right. Okay, not bad. So really, it's just that field outside. You know, I want a gunfight. Oh shit. Alright, maybe that's you know what? Let's call it a mulligan. Let's not fight these guys. <laughs> My god, they're everywhere. Keto missile, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, oh. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? Fuck you, game. Oh, PSG1. Yeah. What? You got a PSG1. You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. Yeah, thanks. I wasn't even thinking that until you messaged me. Oh, 
Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold, hold the phone. If I'm not mistaken, through here, I think there's a. I'm, I think actually, I think that's a level six. We'll see. Remember when I blew up in these things last time? Hmm? And it was like some guns on the other side. Oh! Nope. Oh! Okay, that one opens. I don't know what it does though. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ, the camera! Fucking A! Alright, we're gonna have to put on some rations or I'm gonna die. A camera? What the fuck do I need a camera for? Take photos wherever you like. Okay. So whatever, that did not help me actually at all. The the uh, diazepam is to calm me down so I don't shake while I shoot. For y'all not in the know. Excuse me! Dun, dun. Wah, 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 wah. Damn it. it looks like the place is protected by infrared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, stop! A snake that Alright, excuse me, fellas. Gotta go, gotta go. Oh my god, do I have to lose them first? Oh my god, what are you doing, Tony? Oh my god. I hate that they're gonna just keep showing up until I get away. So it's confirmed you cannot leave while they're shooting at you. And now I want more of these bullets. That's close enough to max. around the outside that's it There's a ration up there again. Hell yeah, there is. Good. I think we're out now. Just like fucking used them all up.
Nothing. Shut up. Oh no, it's B2 or B1? No, it's B1. Wait. Yes. Yep, wrong one. Cool, we're almost there. We're almost, we're almost back. <laughs> Just cuz. <'cause. laughs> hey! That's good that I did it. Nice. Imagine if you're fucking. Taking a piss, and someone just comes up and breaks your fucking neck. I mean, be quick. I mean, I guess. He did seem like the guy was kind of struggling a little bit, but. Whatever. Nice. Okay, here we go with the fucking wolves now. Come on, doggy, leave me alone. Ah! <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, my fucking way. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's right here. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. You guys fucking suck. I just crawl through the door. Where are you? Where are you, bitch? Oh, fuck. Gotcha. I got dies a pan. Right. A what? That was a pretty quick shot. Oh shit, she's gone. Barry took her away. Where? What the hell? That was all me, baby! Oh shit. She's about to kill me. I miss her a little bit more, please? Oh, she's right there. Ha! Ha ha. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. 
She was kind of kicking my ass though for a second. No, I don't want to do it. No. Yeah. Let's see if he's got anything to say about it. Good job with Wolf. Is Meryl okay? I don't know. I don't see her around. You don't think she's been captured, do you? Could be. Let's ask Wolf. If she's still alive, I'm gonna get some answers. Snake. About Meryl. I'm counting on you. All right. All right. PSG one bullets. Might as well take them. Nope. your weapon over here slowly well good job Meryl you're once again a liability Stupid man. a lady sniper huh didn't you know that two-thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women I don't think that's true do you want to die now or after your female friend which will it be I'll die after I kill you. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf. And I always kill what I aim at. Oh. You're my... special prey. Got it? Huh. Oh, I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I think about. Take him away. All right, well. So this part determine this part determines who uh, you are with at the end of the game. I'll just put it that way. Who I am. I always knew that one day I would meet you, the man who stole what was rightly mine, the man who stole my birthright. Me? I'm the man you stole everything good from. And now, after the sacrifice of our brothers, after 30 long years, finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. Fucking love Liquid's voice. Do you need his DNA too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldier's mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites, every one of them. Is that your opinion as a curd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. The 
There uh -oh. definitely is a resemblance, don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. Really? Then what? Oof, those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. We launched the first one in ten hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're going to launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Wanna stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. So you prefer your wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the Chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. As you wish. See you later, brother. Hmm. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. Catch you later, handsome. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. I'm glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have had a lot of faith in your skill, huh, carrier boy? <clears throat> so, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? Do not. That's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Wolf must have been feeling generous. What if you want her to stay that way? You better start answering my questions right now. Mm. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem, then. We're going to play a game, Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. What if you do? The girl's life is mine. And there you have it. So we gotta survive this Press part real quick. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. Snake, it's been a long time since you saved your game. Yeah? So what? If your body can't survive the torture, it'll be game over. You really want to travel down that long road again? Come on, I won't tell. Why don't you just give up? I'm going to run a high voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. 
but I never heard that before. You're a tough guy, Snake. <laughs> but I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared. Good. Nah, dog. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Full health bar, bitch. How did you like that? All right. Shall we go again? That one wasn't as fun. Had enough yet? We're not finished yet. <laughs> Woo! You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother, he's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a hind helicopter? The Les Enfanterie project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. Well, we just need to save our game. That is the halfway point and the end of part two. But we gotta wait till everyone huh? fucking stops talking. Looks like I got a roommate. This is a dark, dark machine. machine. He's got maggots all over his dick. Whew. Well, they've moved already. What a Damn. stench. All right. My clothes. All right, let's get me laying. Snake, are you okay? I feel so scared for you. It must be horrible. Yeah, I, I've been through a lot worse. Believe me. Wow, you really are a hero. It's a good thing the codec is connected directly to your inner ear. You can contact us anytime. It's always nice to hear that you're all right. Why don't you contact the colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. Alrighty. Please, Nick, don't give up. Alright, guys, that's going to be the end of part two of our Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. We'll be back with part three soon. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Until next time, peace. <laughs>